welcome to the Easy S tutorials. These are just short video tutorials to give you an overview of how to use Easy S program. The Easy S program is actually one, in fact it's the only uh, simple estimating program that's out there. We actually use it every day in our business uh, and it creates estimates for us in oh, the tenth of the time that it normally would have taken us to do on paper. The beauty about it is once you have one estimate created, if you were a builder maybe doing extensions or you're an electrician and maybe wiring just individual houses, you create one estimate or then you can get a similar style house, you can actually just repeat it over and over again. All you need to do is change your quantities and maybe the price from time to time, but all the basic information stays in the estimate. The Easy S product itself comes as a CD. Uh, which you can load straight onto your computer. It is based on Microsoft Excel, so it will work on any computer. The experience you need, well, if you can use Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Word, that's it. You don't need to be able to write programs. All you need to do is to move your mouse to different boxes and fill in numbers and writing. just a very basic estimate. Uh, if we go and create estimate, that'll take us into the first page. Down here you can see it's called estimate. That can be changed quite easily. Just right click and click on rename and you can call that whatever you want. We'll leave it as it is for now. Go up here, there's a sample material in there. Just how this works is you put in your material, whatever it would be, your sockets, your timber, your plaster, whatever it would be. Your quantity, should it be 100 bags, should it be 100 sockets your cost uh, and your fit time. Now your fit time is worked out by the hour. So if it was one hour you put one in there. If it was half an hour it would be 0.5 and so on. And that's actually explained on the front page just there on that table. You can actually see there one hour is one, half an hour is 0.5, 15 minutes is 0.25 and so on. So we'll go back to the estimate. Uh, we can put in there any material you want. If you're an electrician, you put in there twin sockets. You could put in there 50 of them at a cost, say £2, and say half an hour to fit. So there's a total cost of £100, and it multiplies out automatically. Your quantity times your cost gives you £100, and your quantity times your fit time gives you a total fit time of 25 hours. You can go down that list as many as you want different products down there. What you can do is create another section. So for example electrician could do sockets, he could create a new section and call it lighting and go OK and it's automatically added down here. It's called lighting. So you can go in there and put in light pendants. Quantity, say 100 unit at a pound. Fit time, say 15 minutes. There you are, there's a total again. You can keep lighting, uh, adding a different section, different products into this section. Uh, you could get, put in uh, light fitting of some description. Say there's five of them. A cost, say £20. An hour maybe to fit each one. And this will keep a running total here. But it also keeps running total in the background as well. Now just for the sake of this example, we'll do one more section, create a new section. And we'll call this one... Uh, let me see, if you were a joiner you'd be doing roofing. We'll call it roofing. So under this roofing section, and down here you can see all that you've created. There's the main estimate, the front page, which you would change to suit whatever you want. Your lighting, your roofing, and so on. So in here we would have, um, let me see, timbers. And metrics say 150 by 38 mil timber. Quantity say there'd be 200, oh, 200 metres. Unit cost say they're 65 pence each and say for talk's sake uh, now bear in mind this is per metre that's 200 metres your fit time would be per metre say it took you 5 minutes per metre say it was a 3 metre length it would take you 15 minutes to fit that works out at 5 minutes which is 0 0.08 if you look back to the table at the beginning and you can see there 5 minutes is 0 0.08 uh, that gives you a total now if you go up to here it actually shows you total summary and what that will actually do is total up your first one, the estimate you started, the lighting section, 
and the roofing section and whatever number of sections you want to list down there it'll total them all it'll give your total labor in hours and it'll also give your total material cost that's the labor cost that is 71 times whatever rate you want to put in there say your labor was only 12 pounds an hour that number will change depending on what you put in there also your profit you can put in at whatever percentage you want 10 percent 20 percent that really doesn't matter MCD is main contractor's discount. Normally that's 2.5%. That's a discount for the main builder to get a discount if he pays you on time. We generally just leave that at zero. Uh, and that will give you the total, the estimate total, which inclusive, is inclusive of your profit. Uh, that would be the amount if you're VAT registered, it would be plus VAT. Okay, once you have created the estimate, what you maybe want to do then is actually save the estimate. So again, this is Microsoft uh, Vista, it'll be different, a wee bit different from XP, but what you want to do is go File, Save As, and in here you'll probably already have a number of different jobs saved, Mr. Brown, Mr. Jones, Mr. Smith, you can call them really whatever you want, uh, and call it whatever uh, the estimate whatever you want there too. If you go into Mr. Brown for example you can see in there we photographs already belonging to that job so this is the most logical place for the estimate. What we'll do is once we complete the estimate we'll type up a word processing document and either email it to him or post him with the details of this quote. So we can save that in there. We'll call that there just Mr. Brown and you can distinguish it because it will be an Excel file. So we'll just see whenever you go in there again There's Mr. Brown there, it's saved in there, Mr. Brown, and it's in there under that folder. Now, it's very important as you go along, once you say once you start the estimate, I would save it first, save it as Mr. Brown or Mr. Smith or whatever job you want to call it, and then from time to time just go up and hit the save button. It's important that you do that. Uh, just you could get engrossed into an estimate and then lose all your information very, very quickly. But uh, that's really it in a nutshell. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial through.